Is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers are there? And we're live. Welcome back to part 50 of Free Roam Fridays, where we free roam with Arthur in chapter 2. Arthur is in Rhodes, enjoying a hot summer afternoon. I think it might remind him of Blackwater. I'm your friendly neighbor at Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. I thought we might go up north today, but first we need to check out this abandoned house right behind the general store. The Apollonie shell fragment is in here. Note how we cannot collect it because we already have one. That's new. The Apollonie shell fragment has respawned. And here is our location behind the general store and east of the church. Fun fact, at least in the US, churches usually own the properties adjacent to them. So this house may belong to that church. They really should rent it out for the extra income. Welcome back, friend. And as you can see, we already have an abalone shell fragment and plenty of silver earrings. Also, plenty of regular bison horns, but no legendary ones. Hey, you got anything for me? Okay, we have a plan. Let's check the map. We need to go right about here. Thank you. Leave. Leave and go where? I've lived here my whole life. Some marital strife over here we can eavesdrop on. This ain't no lie. We got work. We are earning money. That's more than most. <laughs> Barely enough to stay clothed and fed. <sighs> I ain't gonna... Now this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh... We'll talk about this later when we ain't being rudely interrupted. Ugh. Never ends, does it? That's roads for you. It's unbelievable. If you ain't a gray or great weight, you ain't nothing. Ooh. Might as well be a worm in this town. Arthur doesn't know how to help, but he wants to say something. I'm sorry you had to see me like this, mister. It ain't becoming. <laughs> He'll come around once he's settled. He just won't open his eyes and see what's in front of him. Oh! No worries, madam. We are merely checking locks. Arthur is a lock inspector. All right, then. Hope you two figure it out. Ladies. Hi. Good evening, mister. Yeah. And back in Valentine, it's always so lonely coming out of fast travel. Yeah. 
It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. We better craft some explosive ammo because we are going to need it. Explosive ammo is one express bullet and one unit of animal fat. Very convenient. And Arthur just heard some trouble. We better go to work. Thank you. That crazy bastard, he can rot in hell. I think you should get out of here, ma'am. Much like Bruce Wayne, Arthur Morgan is an amateur crime fighter. He's just not afraid of bats. Let's see if anything interesting is going on in the saloon. Ladies. I can help you really relax. Yeah. Look away. Look away. Sure. Great big I'm just trying girl. to help. Hi, uh, folks. I'll kill you. Hey, good looking. I'll kill you. They go around Polly. just looking in people's windows. I, I know. One. Be Just right Howdy. Linen. Perfume. Hey there, fella. You see, they, they hanged her. that woman that's Sir. been killing Johns around the state. Well, she posed as a paid woman, took men up, sliced them up and into ribbons. <laughs> Free almonds at the bar. Types of women have nothing to do with this establishment. <laughs> yes, sir. They should have called it. Watch me. The mountain man is here, but Arthur isn't looking for a fight right now. All right. Hey, folks. Hey, you. And lots of friendly ladies here tonight. A little too friendly, if you know what I mean. Let's move on. This town used to be full of men. Now look at it. All of you. Trying to ride out of town, and Arthur got distracted by the free stew at the workers' camp. And that is a no on the free meal. I guess we arrived too late. Hey, friend. Son of a bitch. Okay, now let's really move on. It's a nice moonlit night for a ride. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cattail Pond, a great location for elk and ram, a pretty good location for moose, and tonight all we have is a herd of wild morgans. Arthur will leave them alone. Let's head up north. I don't usually like to film at night, but I really like how the moonlight reflects on the snow. It is a lonely ride up Lake Owangila. I've never encountered a rider here or a wolf pack. There is a wolf rescue closer to the lake. And then of course we have Tucker's friend near Coulter. But other than that, it's very peaceful. I do recall first playthroughs, I used to really enjoy riding and exploring up here, simply because I didn't have to worry about a random ambush. These days, I am intrigued by the idea of a gang hiding out here, I mean apart from Flacco at Cairn Lake, who really doesn't count. I'm visualizing another scary gang like the Murphy Brood or the Night Folk, but winter themed. Perhaps they wear wolf pelts and wolf heads, and worship an ancient snow god, or Fenring, the giant wolf of Asgard. They could be Viking descendants. In my mind, much like the Murphy Brood and the Night Folk, they prefer melee weapons. Bows, of course, but also unique collectible stone axes. They could be lurking in these woods, just at the tree line, waiting for a hapless traveler alone at night. Arthur is fine, but the horse is getting a little scared. We better stop talking about imaginary gangs in the snow. Oh, and here is a mystery for you. As I just spent the entire ride up here complaining about the lack of content up north. Note this poor frozen fella. Arthur is not that impressed. He wants to examine the loot box in this wagon. A little bit of cash and the cobalt petrified wood. We shall need that for the boar tusk talisman. And our location, the northwest side of Lake Isabella, near White Arabian Territory. This area is also protected by random wolves, so be cautious. Okay, my girl. Yeah.
let's go find us a white bison. Remember those wolves I told you about? Here you go. Yep. And we shall do a little maintenance on the spring field. I know you guys like to see that. Arthur usually takes care of that business at the gunsmith's offline. Here we go. We are on the east side of the lake. Map is forthcoming. Here we are. And the first clue. Some bison fur. Note how the tracks appear in the snow. And the second clue, some legendary dung. Reckon I got a ways to go. The bison will appear here behind these trees. Easy to lose in the snow because he's all white. And the third, some legendary broken sticks. Here we go. Gotta be close. And he took an explosive round to the base of the skull and he's still running. That's why he's a legend. Here he is. No worries, that legendary bison is only sleeping. He looks so peaceful. Arthur and the legendary bison will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast related content, which features more podcast related content, and our Discord. And our location, the bison spawned right about here, very close to the legendary icon. You done good, girl. Okay, we better set up camp and fast travel to the nearest trapper. Thank you.
and Arthur decided on Strawberry and the trapper location north of Lake Oangela. Also, Cougar Country. We may encounter a sleepy cougar. You need a ride somewhere? Hey there! Few spotted Appaloosa at this camp if you are looking for one. The few spot spawns randomly at NPC camps and also, as you know, in the wild. And speaking of cougars, what a coincidence. Wingder. There you go. Two star, oh well. Serves Arthur Wright for trying to show off, taking a shot on a moving horse. Come on. And it looks like we're running to the trappers because I like to take the whole carcass. I am convinced the cougar will respawn faster if we remove the entire carcass from the area. Arthur needed to get in some weighted cardio today. He'll be fine. The horse is confused, but happy to follow. Let's get. I'll take a look at that game. So, what do you have for me? And the trapper says hello. We have one sleepy cougar and one legendary bison pelt for you today, sir. Okay, let's take a look at it. Oh, I'd pay just about any price for this. I'll be make something pretty with that. And we have unlocked the ghost bison hat and also the legendary white bison coat, which, when you think about it, is merely a variation of the legendary grizzly coat. Also the legendary elk range gloves, which are really white, until of course you skin your next deer, and this is what the outfit looks like. Really wish there were white or off-white chaps. That would really make this outfit. Let's move on. Come on, girl. Thank you. And then we were all prepared to move on, maybe visit Hanging Dog Ranch, when a random grizzly decided to say hello. Yeah. Oh, now, now. There's a hey there.
three star. We better get him back to the trappers. Just wait a second, girl. We could use that pelt to get a saddle, although I believe Arthur already has all the trapper saddles. Right here. Hello again. That was quick. All right, let's have a look. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Yes, he does. His favorite, of course, is the rattlesnake vaquero. Arthur will take advantage of the trapper's hospitality and cook up some provisions. We shall check in with you at Rhodes. And back at the fence, let's get that talisman. Looking for a special something for a special someone? You got it. All right, now. The bison horn talisman permanently decreases the speed at which the stamina core drains by 10%. That will come in handy. Thank you. You all right, girl? <laughs> and then let's grab that second abalone shell. Arthur thinks it's a pretty color. Remind Arthur to return here and see if that abalone shell respawns. And we can take these supplies even though Arthur is on an all-meat diet. He's paleo. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. I really wish I could give you a preview of what Arthur will be doing next week, but I cannot. Arthur doesn't know, and neither do I. The mission statement of Free Roam Fridays is to just ride around and explore and see what kind of trouble we can get into. On Fridays, we free roam. I'll see you in part 51. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second channel that features more podcast-related content in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews. And also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Yeah. Yeah. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> I
I love ya. Super Antonio. I love ya.